With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, welcome to doubtnet. Let us look at the question here. So the question here says that TCL3 is more uh, TLCL3 is more stable than TLCL that is uh, thallium tetrachloride is more stable than thallium chloride is something that we need to verify in the first statement that is given here and the second statement says that plus one oxidation state of thallium is more stable than plus three right so in this question we need to verify uh, both these statements here so let us first start analyzing the first one okay the first statement which says that uh, TLCl3 is more stable than TLCl which is false right so this is false why let us have a look so in this question uh, in this statement it is given that TLCl3 is more stable then TLCl right so this is incorrect okay why because it is the opposite what it is given here so actually uh, thallium chloride is more stable okay then thallium uh, tetra sorry trichloride okay now uh, we need to understand the reason behind this. So the reason is that in uh, in the case of thallium plus one oxidation state is more stable is more stable than plus three one. Okay, so plus three is less stable than plus one. So to understand this, we'll have to uh, understand the electronic configuration of thallium. So thallium which has the uh, atomic number of 81 so the electronic configuration will be xenon and then we have 4f14 5d10 then we have 6s2 and 6p1 right now we need to understand that uh, thallium from group 13 uh, is at the bottom of the periodic uh, I mean so sorry at the bottom of the uh, in its own group right so group 13 has uh, boron we have aluminium then we have gallium indium and then we have thallium so thallium at the bottom is large in size right so first thing is that it is large in size and the second thing is that you can notice here in its electronic configuration that it has f and d subshells so we all know that these F and D subshells create poor shielding, right? So due to the poor shielding, what will happen? This S, uh, 6S orbital, this these electrons from 6S will get bonded with nucleus more formally, right? Just because F and D orbitals here fails to, uh, you know, fails to shield uh, properly the nucleus the effect of nucleus what happens this s orbital this next uh, orbital this shell here 6s shell gets attached to the nucleus in a more uh, firm way in a more stronger stronger way and due to this reason what happens this uh, two electrons from you know s or uh, orbital becomes inert right so this entire theory is called inert uh, inert pair effect Right, so this is inert pair effect. In inert pair effect, what happens? This s orbital, due to the poor shielding of f and d orbitals, it becomes inert. They don't take part in the uh, you no know, the bonding that is about to you know happen. Right, so these becomes inert, and only the bonding electron that we have now is from p orbital. Right, so this is the bonding electron that is left. So let us write it down the entire phenomena that is happening here so the first thing is that large size of thallium right so large size uh, large size of thallium also uh, comes into picture it also creates uh, 
effect right so due to the large size and uh, poor shielding of we have 4f and we have 5d orbitals what happens 6s orbitals becomes inert 6s orbitals orbital electrons become ele uh, electrons become inert right which means they will not take part in chemical bonding and due to this reason this entire effect is called as is known as inert pair effect right now due to this reason we only have one bonding electron that is from a p orbital right and due to this reason thallium will only have plus one uh, oxidation state more stable right so due to this reason now i can say that tlcl will be more stable than tlcl3 right so this is how now we have uh, verified now we have understood that this first statement is false and the second statement which says that plus one oxidation state of thallium is more stable than plus three is a true statement right now if uh, this is clear to you then this is how we can solve this problem and try and understand i hope this is clear uh, this is clear to you and you understand well thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today